hello everyone in today's video i'm going to show you how you can configure the vc dial after installing it for your production use so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can configure it for outbound call so over here as you can see i have already uh, have a freshly installed vc dial i'm using vc dial 12 so i'm going to set it up to I'm going to set it up for outbound calls so if you are new for so if you are new to the VC dial this might help you out for setting up your VC dial so I'm going to open my Chrome over here and I'm going to update my VC dial IP so this is my VC dial IP uh, 1.20 so let's log in on the admin okay so once you are entered you will be greeting like this okay after you change your password obviously so once you are done with those okay then we are going to to the user from here this is the default user obviously when you freshly install it will ask you to give all this permission so you have to allow this permission first after it's done okay so i'm starting the process after that so you can watch the other videos if you wanted to know how to install vc dial i have briefly uh, like uh, described the procedure so let's uh, start with this video so first of all we are going to create with the user so from here we can click on the user and we are going to add a user so let's you can uh, give any numerical or like uh, alphabetical name over here for something let's say I'm going to give 1001 user number password you can give anything like 1 2 3 4 okay or you can put the same thing name you can put any name if you want okay let's say for now I have entered this user name okay and this is the user level so user level means the permissions okay you will find this particular question mark box of every options so this is the help guide if you don't know what is this function or uh, how this function is work you can simply click on that question button and it will briefly describe you what is the function of that so this is the user level I mean which level of permission you are giving so this particular user that i'm creating i'm going to use it for a agent so the user level i'm going to keep it as one and then this is for the user group if you have a different group you can select over here okay and then submit and your user is created so you if you do manual call then scroll down a bit and select this one agent call manual and hit enter so now this user is created and you will find all this uh, user uh, related setting over here on this page like which kind of permission you wanted to provide and all okay so once it's done let's go back to the user and you can see now we have two user one is the admin another is the user okay so once it's done user is created then go to the user group and this is the default admin group okay so what i normally practice I simply create a different group for the agent and all the people who is not an administrator okay I saw many people who assign the same user with this group but I normally don't do that way so I will simply create a different group the reason is let's say uh, if your admin user and the other user agent user or quality same group okay you can obviously like uh, limit their permission but it's always different to uh, move them in a separate group than the admin one so i'm going to create a new group from here let's say group id will be agent you can put any like for agent or for user anything you like and then submit that and this is the group now we are going to make some changes like group shift so i'm going to like uh provide this group shift is 24 
hours midnight means uh, what it will do anything related to this group okay the shift timing i mean this shift timing will be this now any user can log in anytime okay and they can take calls scroll down a bit from here we are going to select this one and then this one if you wanted to limit your call timing i mean which time you are going to call you can simply choose from here in that case don't select this and then submit now go to the campaign and the campaign we are going to create a add a new campaign from here this position from this part so click on add a new campaign put a campaign name let's say test and test campaign okay so now it's done now this is the admin user group so we are going to put it on the agent we are going to select that group so this campaign will be automatically assigned to that group and then scroll down okay from here we are going to see minimum hopper level whenever you are going to upload some data from those data packets it will take 200 leads okay uh, every time and it will put it on the hopper and then the call will be placed so you can increase it okay if you keep it low and if you have a higher agent then it will like uh, run frequently uh, if you have a large number of uh, like uh, users in your dialer then always use to a higher level but for now 200 will be sufficient and this is the next call uh, next agent call means when the call will be coming which agent will be called first if you select random then it will throw the call to the random i normally select the longest wait time through the call first call to the user who is waiting for a long time this is the auto dial level obviously you can control your uh, dialer calling pace from here so once is done local call time you can change it from here as per your preferred time and then submit you can also select the script but this is a first install so we are going to discuss it about later submit okay now your test campaign is now created okay and from here these are the dial status see there are a lot of functions if i uh, try to explain each and everything it will take almost 10 to 15 hours so i'm going to describe briefly so this is the dial status means when you are going to upload a lead and if the lead is once exhausted if you want to reset it and then which kind of uh, status you want to reset from use leads so you can simply choose if you wanted to dial answering machine or like busy simply like add and then uh, like if you want to do dial not interested customer also means when the first time you call the customer the customer says not interested and if your agent like properly uh, like uh, dispose it then those numbers will be added in this table and you can simply dial it again by adding it in your campaign now list order okay so if you have multiple list selected uh, like over here uh, if you have multiple list you are like uh, trying to run then always select to random okay once done then scroll down this is the dial method if you wanted to use the uh, like uh, ratio mode then you have to select the ratio if you wanted to dial on predictive mode and then select it and then scroll down and then this is the dial timeout just make sure to make it like if you're dialing it uh, a normal then 35 seconds should be enough what this function will do this function will like simply ring the number from your lead to and it will keep ringing keep ringing okay until the customer answer but if you put a number over here what will do it will disconnect the call like it will start uh, dial that number and once the number is dialed okay it will ring for 35 seconds only so if the customer don't answer within that 35 seconds the call will be disconnected this help you in many ways like it will simply save a lot of extra voip balances let's say if, if your uh, dial time is too high then it will keep ringing but the customer is not answering so there is no sense to keep ringing the dial and then you know like it will uh, save your uh, connectivity time also the dialer can reject that call and then move on to new one this is the dial prefix it will be something that uh, configured in your carrier this is for the manual this is for the manual dial 
this is the caller id which will be displayed in your customer uh, when you are going to call them so make sure to place your caller id from here okay now this is the routing extension so routing extension mean it will route the call through this extension so by default it stays 8368 uh, what it will do it will not filter any kind of answering machine or voicemail it will simply throw the call to the agent ports but uh, if you are uh, wanted to like if you wanted to filter the answering machine and voicemail call so obviously you can make it uh, 8369 it will enable the answering machine mode but make sure that uh, like uh, asterisk is uh, capable of filtering some calls but not 100% so maybe you should still get some answering machine you can check the manual from here which extension code for which department which uh, routing extension for which purpose you can simply check it from here this is for the campaign recording okay so it's by default should be in on demand so the agent will have the access to either record their call or not but if you select on all fours then it will automatically start recording all the call okay uh, either the agent want or don't want it will not be concerned it will forcefully record all the calls and then uh, you can add a record delay if you wanted to delay the recording after a call for a few seconds you can do that and then there are many options over here but uh, those are the necessary ones in the campaign and then submit so the campaign is created over here you can simply if you wanted to create a different campaign with the same setting you can simply copy it once the campaign is done now we are going to create the uh, we are going to check the user group again so click on the user group from here it's already selected to the all campaigns but uh, you can simply select one and then submit go back to the user that we have created and the user select the agent so what I did I just simply assign that user to the add agent group that we created now the last thing we are going to do on the basic setup is that configure a phone so if you are using a uh, hard phone you can simply create your phones from here or if you are going to use a soft phone the scenario will be same okay I just deleted the by default phone actually I don't like to keep those so deleted now okay now if you click on the admin and come to the phone and then click on the add new phones okay and over here we are going to create a phone extension and then the dial play number put the same thing voice mailbox outbound caller ID if you wanted to present a different caller ID like if you are directly calling from your uh, X Lite or Zoiper, if you are not logging in your VC dial agent panel, then this is where you are going to put your caller ID that will be showed or it will be visible in your customer phone number, this particular section. And then select this campaign, uh, sorry, and the user group, I will select the agent, okay. And then the password, I'm going to put the same. Uh, please try to notice one thing that I am demonstrating this on a virtual machine but I will always recommend that if you are using the server on production please use a strong password right now you can see this password is medium you can add a extra like length as per your need okay not like this to a strong password to uh, for your own security but uh, for now I'm going to use this and then and then submit okay our phone is now created but if you are using a uh, web RTC then make sure to enable this one okay make it set as Wi-Fi make it as Y okay and then from here make sure to select a template from here this particular template and then submit okay it's done now um, we are going to uh, log in on the uh, agent part okay with the agent that we have created okay so it's done now we are going to configure our phone that we have created so uh, you can use any soft phone for now I'm using a uh, different soft phone I'm using yet client so phone ID phone password on the phone password you have to provide this password make sure okay the registration password if you are using to register it on your phone make sure to enter this password so I have entered and on the server I'm going to put this server IP this IP 20 and okay 
and let's see if it is online yes it's online as you can see the phone is online and this is our soft phone that we are going to use now let's try to log in uh, over here now let's try to log in enter the phone ID that you have created and on the phone password now on the phone password use this password okay it is done and then user password that we have created and the user ID select the campaign and submit but if I try to submit now it will give me error of the hopper uh, wanna see let's check see it's saying that there is no leads on the hopper so what we have to do uh, we have to go to this campaign uh, the error it's uh, giving this it's saying that there is no lead on the hopper means uh, if we go to the uh, re uh, report and as you can see there is no leads on the hopper actually that's why it is not at, uh, letting us to log in but we can simply bypass it from the details view so go to the uh, campaign from here and then the click on the campaign click on the campaign details and then search for no hopper uh, no hopper login or you can also select no hopper dialing if you want to do and then simply submit once it's done let's try again okay as you can see i have successfully logged in okay um, on the server you have been kicked from this conference you are currently the only person in this conference make sure you hear the sound okay and if you go to the uh, reporting section let's go to the reports and as you can see one agent i am logged in over here and it's showing that one agent is logged in and the status is paused because right now i am in paused okay if you make it like yourself active then it will show the same thing from here you are active so let me log out you have been kicked from this conference okay uh, now uh, if you reload this you can see i'm logged out this is how you can set up the server vc dial server for your uh, production and there are many things to do like the many people customize it for their own uh, needs but uh, this is the basic thing if you do that it will be uh, properly set up but one more thing that you have to do is go to the admin and then click on the carrier from here you have to add a career from here you can see this button add a new career there is some samples uh, for an example ship sample so your career settings should be like this if you click on a new career from here you can see all are blank you have to put the details same like this you will find this kind of similar samples so if you are using ship then use this ship uh, sample or you can ask it from your VoIP provider from where you are using the VoIP they will give you this kind of de details once you enter this okay uh, use the dial prefix from here put it on the campaign and then submit so this is all for today thank you so much for watching have a nice day